Dozens of people gathered in Northampton earlier today for a rally after footage was released of a traffic stop this past April that shows a city police officer pulling a woman out of her car. Now they're calling for change. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey now joins us in studio with more. Olivia. Matt, the footage shows a traffic stop that escalated quickly. People we spoke with today described it as horrifying. And leaders we spoke with say this past, this past week say it could have ended differently. People gathered outside Northampton City Hall Sunday to call for changes in policing after footage from a traffic stop in April was released that shocked many people. It was completely despicable. Um, I know Marisol. I know people like Marisol. Uh, we grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, to think uh, that, that someone could put their hands on, on an elderly woman like that or anybody in general, it really just, it was gut-wrenching. On April 4th, 2023, Northampton Police Officer John Sulu tried to conduct a traffic stop on Marisol Drioge, who drove by him with a broken headlight. According to police records, Sulu approached the Kia Drioge was driving, explaining he was pulling her over for the broken headlight and failing to pull over. Oh, where? This one right here, ma'am. Ah, and you, I, I was behind you for a good quarter mile and you failed to pull over. Drioge, a primarily Spanish speaker, informs the officer she didn't understand why she was stopped. Her attorney confirms to Western Mass News English is not her first language. The officer asked her for her licenses and registration several times and called for additional units. Then the stop begins to escalate. After asking for the documents again, Sulu ordered Drioge out of her car multiple times. She then began rolling up her window and, according to documents, reached for the car's gear shift. Sulu then reached into the vehicle and began to pull Drioj out of the car. Right now. No. Get out. No. No me toques. No me toques. Ah! Get out of your vehicle. Ah! After a struggle between the two, a second officer shows up and pepper sprays Drioj. She was put in handcuffs and placed in the back of a police car. More officers arrive to the scene, including an officer to translate for Drioj, who speaks Spanish. An internal investigation by the Northampton Police Department found Sulu's use of force to be within the department's policies. Sulu was not suspended for the incident, but attended two verbal de-escalation classes in June and July. When Western Mass News spoke with Northampton Police Chief Jody Casper earlier this week, she said the situation could have been less intense if Officer Sulu took more time to talk to the driver. We want to be able to be on scenes and de-escalate them and not escalate them. And in this case, without a doubt, there, anyone who has seen the video can see that the communication is not effective from the officer. City Mayor Gina Luis Schiara also reacting to the footage, sharing a statement with Western Mass News that reads in part, it is clear to me that as a slower, more considered interaction and more effective communication could have avoided the escalation of the situation. I was very concerned to see the situation escalate to such a degree on the video and strongly disagree with how the officer handled it. Meantime, John Rivera hopes the footage gives people a new perspective of the officers that serve the city. If they can't serve an elderly woman who doesn't speak any English, it really uh, puts into perspective who they serve, right? Whether it's themselves um, or their own interests. Police tell us that Drioj has threatened legal action. The attorney representing Marisol Drioj shared, shared a statement with Western Mass News on today's rally that reads in part, according to an outside agency, this was reasonable and proportionate policing. If we don't want 60-year-old women pulled out of their cars, beaten and sprayed with chemical weapons over a broken headlight, we should stop hiring people whose specific job it is to do that. Reporting live in studio, Olivia Hickey for Western Mass News.